We've had several people ask us, what is the twin factor? And the obvious first answer you would think would be that we're twins and uh, we're out trying to be the factor in the woods and shoot some animals. And uh, that's true, but our name actually uh, comes from some spiritual roots. It has uh, the spiritual meaning is what we really decided our name on. Uh, in Genesis 126, it says, let us make man in our own image, in our own likeness. And uh, in that verse, God is actually saying, let us make man in our image and likeness. Let us make man as twins to us. Make him look like us and let him be like us. And that's where the twin uh, name comes from. Uh, God said, we want man to be just like us. And I like one of the versions of the Bible in the NIV version. It says, let us make man kind in our own image and likeness so that we can give them uh, dominion and authority. He makes us like um, him so that we can be a factor in people's lives. Uh, it says, let us make man. He's talking about God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's talking about Jesus there. And Hebrews chapter 1 says that the Son is the exact representation of the Father. And the Bible actually says that God has made us like Jesus, with twins with Jesus, so that we can be a factor just like Jesus was in people's lives. If you're reading the, in the Bible and the Gospels, Jesus was a factor everywhere he went. He served people, he loved people, and that's where Twin Factor came from. And we want people to know that the Twin Factor isn't just two guys out, two twins going out, going, uh, being a factor in the woods, but most of all, it's, it's two twins, uh, God making us like Jesus so that we can be a factor in other people's lives. And he's made every one of us and every one of our viewers like Jesus so that they can be a factor in people's lives and that God has a plan for every person to be a factor in someone else's life. You know, when I think about that word again, factor, and the definition of the word factor, um, to have an impact on the outcome of something or, or somebody's life, and when I read in the scriptures about Jesus, he was the ultimate factor. He really was the ultimate factor. And, it, and if you read uh, through the Gospels, all through the Gospels you see that that Jesus had an impact on the outcome of many people's lives. Uh, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he, he saved the lost. He did so many things where he had a, a huge impact on the lives and the outcome of uh, people's lives. And um, in uh, John 14, 6 in the Bible, that scripture said, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except through me. And, um, you know, that, that scripture says, bottom line, that Jesus is the only way to heaven and that he's the ultimate factor. And, uh, you know, to end this season, Chad and I would just encourage all of our viewers or, or anybody watching, if you haven't accepted Jesus into your heart, if you haven't allowed him to be the ultimate factor in your life, to make an impact on the outcome of your life, if you haven't allowed him to do that, if you haven't asked him to come into your heart, please do. Because what he did on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, actually, that's the biggest impact that he can have on our, the outcome of our lives. Because one day, when it comes to the end of our life, we all have somewhere to go when we pass away from this earth. And if we accept Christ into our heart, and we allow him to have the, the ultimate impact on our lives, on the outcome of our lives, then if we ask him to do that, then we're going to be in heaven. So we encourage you, if you haven't done that today, please do that.